Good evening, family. Welcome to the SCBBL show. Today we have Kendra Logan of our Next Success Consulting and beautiful boss woman in white. Today she's going to tell us more about her business and more about this wonderful movement that she has going on for women. And we hope that you stay tuned to hear more about these things. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the SCBBL show. 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 Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the SCBBL show. SCBBL stands for South Carolina Live Right Locally. And our show is all about bringing you into the lives of our local businesses here in Charleston. We know that you want to taste the authenticity of Charleston and what all we have to offer. So this is what the SCBBL show brings to you. A South Carolina Live Right Locally. Welcome to the SCBBL show. Stands for South Carolina Buy Black Locally. Good evening, everyone. Today we're bringing you into the life of another um, business owner in our community. Today we have a beautiful boss woman. Her name is Kendra Logan, and she's the owner of our next. Success Consulting. Success Consulting. Nobody ever gets it right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just short to say ASC. ASC, I like that. So just acronym it, call it a day. All right, so tell us a little bit more about yourself. Well, I am Kendra Logan, the owner of our next Success Consulting. I like to think of myself as a positive person. I like to push positivity. I like to call myself the success advocate. I haven't oh. branded that yet, but. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> success advocate. I feel like I'm here to help the next person be successful in their lives and become the best version of themselves. So that's what I try to do on a daily basis. I think we all need a little bit of that. So let's let's delve a little bit deeper into into that. So um, if you had to describe yourself in just three words. Ooh, well see, three words for myself. I'll kind probably say uh, yeah, sorta of, kinda, of, but when you're trying to become the best version of yourself. You kind of seek these things, so I've done this before. Oh. So three words that describe me would be kind, generous, and loving. Love it. And those are my initials, so I shout out. Kind, Brand. generous, and loving. Kind, generous, and loving. I feel like those are three qualities that people seem to miss a lot of on life these days. Um, if you're kind, you're continuously doing good things for other people. Um, when you're generous, you are giving something without expecting something in return. In today's society, everybody always wants something back. Right. And I feel like love is like the basis of all of existence. We come from love, we're created through love. Right. You want to love. So those three things are the three things that I try to spew out in life every day. I want people to say, you know, Kendra, she is so kind and generous <laughs> and loving. And you, you get to have, know her. You kind of have to have those qualities to be an advocate in any area. I think so. so. I think so. So that's, that's probably that the three words that I would use to describe myself for the most part. All right. Awesome. Um, how did you get started in this field, in the consulting field? Um, so there was a time in my life where I probably wasn't the happiest person I should have been. And um, when you're not happy, it's, it can take a toll on you. Yeah, you know, depression it can also bring is the best out of you. Depression is real. Mm -hmm. um, but when you hit rock bottom, you're like, listen, I'm tired of being down here. Then you start doing things to pull yourself out. And so I started doing research for how I could become the best version of myself. And in that, I started talking to more people, talking to my friends, things of that sort. And they were like, you have some really good information that people probably want to hear. And I was like, you think somebody will listen to me? <laughs> right. And they're like, well, if you're talking good information, yeah, people will listen to because people want to live their best lives. Um, and so from there, I was like, you know what? Well, I think I maybe want to do this, you know, and try to do something where I can put myself back out to give back more to people. Um, I'm a business person, business major, business has always been my thing. I, from a young lad, I used to watch Claire on a Cosby show. Oh, oh yeah, listen, I was like, I want to be Claire. You see, I threw her last name in there, yes. like, really her last I want to wear them suits. <laughs> I want them briefcases. I want to come home to your family. The original yes. beautiful boss. Yes. This is Claire Huxley. She's goals. We love you, Claire. We love you, Claire. <laughs> yeah, she is goals. And so I've always been a business mind. So I was like, well, I can make a business out of this because people want to be the best version of themselves. Um, so not just with my motivation of speaking and positivity, I offer other services as well to help people. People can come to me like, Kendra, I want to 
make a change in my career. Okay, so what do we need to do to get you into the career that you want to do? Let's try to figure out what kind, of career, what kind of career do you want to be in? You know, do we need to redo your resume? We can do interview prepping. We can do all of that in order to help you get the job that you need because your life is a bunch of little areas. It's your career. It's your family. It's vacations. It's trips. Yes. So if you need help getting a budget started so you can save for your vacation to Waikiki or wherever we want to go, <laughs> <laughs> wherever you want to go, we can do that. You That's need some awesome. resume help, we can do that. And if I don't know a person, if I can't do it myself, then I'm more than willing to help you connect to the next person that can help you with what you're trying to get because I don't know everything. But I'm pretty sure I can find somebody who does. And see, a lot of times we just automatically go to the places that we think about, like United Way. Or yeah, like, yeah. Job services. Job services, or something yeah. Like that. But not often do they understand your background. Exactly. And um, sometimes it's always good to just have somebody who, you know, looks like you and can relate to where you come exactly. from and, and relate to how you talk and try to help you say what you really want to exactly. say but you're not getting the right the job market oh my gosh i i have been through that struggle so that like, is, why am i not getting no jobs right like I, I feel like i should have this job i i, I have, know i have the skills i have the skills what's going on where well, i can't get the job so i love that i think so, so. you learn something new every day yeah so you told us that you offer um, any of those services, like mm -hmm. to just grow you in any area that you want to grow in. Yes. But outside of that, what drew me to you is this um, event that you have. I don't know how many years you've been having this event. So yes. tell us about this event that so, you're, you're having. Beautiful Boss Woman in White 2018 is coming up April 28th. I'm so excited. And this is my third year. So doing, third year. But this three. is the biggest one I've done yet. And just a little brief history about it. A couple years ago, you know, I was talking to somebody and she was like, oh, well, you know, I really have some questions about, it was, I forgot what it was, but I was like, well, I don't know, but I know I have a friend of mine who does something in that field. And it started me thinking about how I know a bunch of really nice, beautiful bosses who are living their life, whether it's from stay-at-home moms to doctors and lawyers, but I kind of know them all in silos. Right. Like, I know this person from here, I know this person from here. And so I was like, it would be really dope if I could get all of these beautiful bosses in one mm -hmm. room and be like, she's a lawyer, if you need a lawyer, she's a doctor. She does children's dentistry. She's in the health field. She's a teacher. She's a stay-at-home mom with five kids. So if anybody's a new mom and you need right. tips for how not to you know, make sure your kids survive, mm -hmm. she's the person to ask. She's raised five. Wow. And so the first year, I did it with specific invite only. Like I just gave it to a couple of friends that I knew. I said, hey, we're going to have this big dinner. We're gonna get dressed and all. We're gonna go downtown and have a good time. And it was fabulous. You should have seen how everybody was like, oh, 16 people all dressed in white just walking around downtown. They were like, y'all the wedding? Yeah. Like, what's going on? Why is everybody dressed in white? And so the first year, like I said, it was really intimate. The second year grew a little bit, but for year number three, I really wanted to take it up a notch. I wanted to make it bigger, I wanted to make it bossier. And I wanted to get the Tri County Charleston area out. I wanted them to see third that time Charleston is doing the thing. Charm. Charleston has some bosses in it. Yes, it's on the map. Yes. So I've been pushing it really hard on Facebook and social media to like, listen, you're a beautiful boss. If you're out here, you're working hard, you're doing your thing, you're raising your kids, you're being a mom, a wife, stepmom, whatever your career is, you're out there working it because it can be rough when you're playing all these roles. Right. You know, come on out and. Be motivated, be empowered. We're going to talk about um, things that just women need to know because we can all learn from other beautiful bosses. Yep. Um, this year we have Brooklyn Tanker Queen Brooklyn. I saw that. Straight out her mouth is going to come. I saw that. Come from Thicker Than Water. She's going to be our motivational speaker. And, you know, she's done some things. If anybody's watched the show, she has a daughter, she has a hairline, she does motivational speaking. So we have her out here coming to motivate these ladies to be these beautiful bosses. This is amazing. I'm excited. Like I said, I've been really Make working sure you hard. Are there. Get Make there. sure you bring your friend. Bring your a friend. Beautiful boss. Um, tell us the date and tell us um, how they can get tickets to get. There. It is April 28, 2018. It's at Triad Technical College at their conference center. So that's that big building in the front with that waterfall that you drive past on Rivers Avenue. Yep. So it's the big one out front. Tickets are available. You can get them on Facebook off our Beautiful Boss Women 2018 page. Or you can go to a website, bbwiw18 at eventbrite.com. All right. It's going to be a great time. I can't wait. So with Ardneck, um, what kind of business goals do you have for um, that business? Or do you have 
more business goals for the beautiful boss women? Well, so I kind of have them for both, okay. which might be a little bit ambitious, but you know, we're nervous <laughs> too. Ambitious. Put it in the atmosphere. Put it in the atmosphere. So starting out small with beautiful boss women, this is my third year, but this is going to be the biggest year. Um, I like how she keeps putting that out there. What? Just claim it. It's, it's going to be the biggest year, but long term, I would like to continue doing it, and I'd like to possibly take it to other cities. Okay. Oh, uh, You know, if I start in Charleston and I can get a big enough crowd in Charleston, maybe take it to Savannah, mm -hmm. maybe take it to Charlotte. Take it on tour. Take it on tour. Like, why we can't have a tour of beautiful bosses? I mean, just women connecting, motivating each other. So I really want to try to push that at least by year five into another city. But three, four, and five in Charleston? Yes. Maybe. Perfect you your over. craft and spread Yes, it. yes, yes. So um, I think you t told us about this a little bit, but what made you chose to go into... Um, the art neck and then into beautiful boss women. Like I said, I just wanted to do something that could make a positive change in people's lives. I feel like nowadays we have so much negativity. You can go on Facebook or you can watch the news and there's always something sad going on. It and do you, sad. do you also notice like if you put up anything like a post a rant or anything yeah. that gets so much. You get so much like, like if somebody's <laughs> mad at somebody or somebody's fighting or something, it's shared it ten thousand times. It's viral, and then you can put up something really nice and calm. Like I had a great day. You get like two <laughs> likes. Like, does anybody care that I had a great day? Or we gotta not? spread love. We gotta, we gotta, spread, gotta spread love. love, and I feel like it's not enough love being generated around. We have to share it. It's like yeah. it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller, and so. Like I said, that motivated me as I was going on my journey to become my happy person and the positive version of Kendra. It motivated me to say, I want more people to be happy, to be positive, because positivity attracts more positivity. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's kind of what motivated me to do our next, to do Beautiful Bosses, just to have scenarios where it doesn't have to be negative. We don't have to be like beating everybody over the head with a bottle or arguing with somebody about somebody's man or something mm -hmm. like that, you know? Just something that can generate positivity, generate love, and help everybody be a happier, positive version of themselves. Well, I'm believing for you that this is going to be the best year, mm -hmm. just like mm -hmm. how you already declared yes. um, in the atmosphere. And um, did you notice any obstacles and challenges that you had to face, and how did you kind of like get over that? What did you, yeah, what did you eliminate? Well, you, well, you know, you always have naysayers. Yep. You know, it doesn't matter if you do a single post or whatever event, somebody's going to be like, you're not going to get nobody to come this year. Right. Or, well, you already did it two years and it wasn't that big. You only had 16 the first year and like 24 the second year. What makes you think that's you're going to get? Growth. That's still growth. That's still growth. But, you know, they're like, what makes you think you're going to get more this year? Or, nobody really knows you, Kendra. Mm -hmm. Like, you're Kendra, but, I mean, you have Facebook friends, but you're not like, popular, popular, like thousands of people, Facebook friends, you know, so you always have naysayers, and I like to tell people when I'm telling them about, you know, obstacles, like, you have to believe in yourself first, yes, that's like one. the number one thing, you have to take care of you, and you have to believe in yourself, right, because if nobody else is going to believe in you, you have to make sure that you follow through with your dreams, so one of the obstacles, like I said, is always naysayers, somebody always has something negative to say about why something's not going to work, and I have to remind them, Thank you for your opinion, mm -hmm. but my opinion says that it's going to work Girl. because I can do it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to pause right there and give a shout out to Dr. Carolyn Gillis of Cross Elementary School because she instilled in us in elementary school a quote that says, I believe in myself, I can. Yes. And no matter how, if you started from Cross Elementary and you left, if you didn't remember anything else about Cross, you, you remember that. So shout out to Dr. Gillis. Yeah, you from Cross. Yeah. I'm from Corner. So Berkeley High. Berkeley High. Cross yeah. High grad. Mm -hmm. So um, what are some tips and suggestions that you can give to other entrepreneurs um, starting out or wanting to get into consulting? Um, well, number one, believe in yourself. Um, number two, don't take failure as a stopping point. I like to tell people when I'm doing speaking or um, different things, like, I literally take no losses in life. Yeah. There is no such thing as a loss for me. Mm -hmm. If it's an L, it's a lesson. Yeah. And I bounce back. I think we'd be good friends. Yeah. <laughs> there is no such thing. Even when you fail, you can still learn something from that failure that can help you get to where you need to be. So if you're starting out, like I said, when I had my first one, I had 16. And my second year, I thought I was going to have about 40. And I had 24. Right. And even other little smaller events that I've had before, I can plan that whole thing and I just know I'm going to have 100 people show up. Preaching to the and choir. And I have eight. And then seven of those eight are related to me. Right. <laughs> so right. I was like, where, where are my friends? 
Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> show up. So don't take that failure as a loss. A loss is just a lesson. Yeah. A lesson that can take you to the next level. And, you know, just push yourself. If there's something that you really want to do, do it. Even if it fails, you can learn from it. And then you can tell yourself, I tried that. Mm -hmm. One of the worst things you can do is have an idea and sit on it. And then 20 years go by and you're like, I wish I would have tried that. Try it. Mm -hmm. It may work. Awesome. It may take you to the top. You never know. Awesome. Try it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kendra has dropped some wonderful jewels on us. And you already know if you want to be successful, at least take the first step and reach out to her if you have no idea of what steps to take. But to get a little bit of fun out of Miss Kendra, we're going to ask her some uh, questions. All right. Some would you rather questions. Okay, I'm ready. So, out of food, okay. would you rather give up pizza or french fries? Pizza's gone. <laughs> I'm a potato girl. I'm country. Listen, we got French fries. We got mashed potatoes. potatoes. We got baked potatoes. potatoes. I can eat potatoes every day. I can find some version of potatoes. So That's Pizza the easy way. Pizza is gone. Bye-bye. So if you had to live in space or underwater, which one would you choose? Ooh. I'd probably be underwater. Really? I think so. I didn't so. think anybody would pick underwater. You, the Little Mermaid <laughs> was underwater. She but was she, down there with Sebastian. Well, she found her husband outside. Yeah, I know, but the water was still very pretty. It was you know, pretty. It was nice and blue. The water in Moana was yeah. gorgeous. And, you know, it's nothing really to look out in space. I mean, some stars, but they might be far away. I'm a scenic person. I see, see, I love these questions because it shows how many perspectives different yeah. people have about. I want to see something beautiful. Like, the, what's the thing in Australia? They got like the grid. Finding Nemo, the water in Finding Nemo. Yeah. That was pretty, too. Okay. I love I it. I could do I'd be wondering. I'll be mermaid. Out of love, true love, ten or ten million dollars. Ooh, girl, that's the <laughs> top. I, you know, I preach on love, so I gotta go with true love over ten million dollars. Okay, that's what I would say. Okay. Uh, love is kind of universal. If you have love, you know, you can kind of get through everything. Ten million dollars, while it's a lot, mm -hmm. can still be spent, and then you be broke. And, and then you'll be alone. Yeah. Or they might steal your $10 million and then you're still alone. Temporary happiness over long term. Exactly. Longevity. That's right. So. I'll go with the longevity, so I'll take the true love. Gotcha. Well, with money, would you prefer getting $1,000 daily for the rest of your life? Or would you prefer getting $1 million today? No, give me that um, daily. Yeah. Get the check today. <laughs> I want to open the mailbox. Every day to $1,000. See $1, That's Every motivation day. right That's there. That's motivation. Cha-ching. And then, uh, as far as animals, would you rather a pet bird or any type of reptile? Bird. I had a pet <laughs> bird when I was younger, and I loved that bird. It was her name was Yellow Dancer. Oh, she was a little yellow parakeet. She used to sit on my shoulder. I love my Yellow Dancer. I take another bird mm -hmm. over any reptile. Over, I don't do reptiles. Awesome. Well, Kendra, let everybody know how they can follow you. You can follow me on Facebook. I am Kendra Logan on Facebook. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to see my personal life journey on my positivity um, stream here. You can find me at Image of Eminence. Let me spell it because nobody ever gets it right. Mm -hmm. I am A G E of Eminence. E M I N E C N E. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Image of Eminence. And I'm also as uh, Image of Eminence on Snapchat. And my motivational pages, if you just need a daily boost of motivation, Instagram is Ardnex, M-I, A-R-D-N-E-K-S-M-I. Yeah, Ardnex, M-I. All right. Yeah, so follow me. Find me if you need me. I'm always here. Here to help. All right, you guys. Stay tuned to our next episode. We are the SCBDL Show, bringing you the news from our community and our business owners. And we hope that you enjoy the episode on today. Thanks, everybody.